Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about class locator in Appium. Okay. Uh, in the previous videos, you can able to see accessibility IDs and uh, how to install emulator and how to create emulator and all and how we can able to install and different ways and that all the things I explained there. Okay, please go through that. And here is class locator, how to locate it. Okay, for this, what are the steps you have to do? First, we need to uh, open for emulator. Okay, then we need to open command prompt and we need to start the server. And then we need to do for inspector to starting that particular emulator pointing. Okay, how we can able to do it that all are, I showed there also. Okay, open for Android Studio and more actions and here virtual device and then virtual device you can able to see uh, which is the one you enrolled please start any one of one which is the one you enrolled i enrolled for night watchman and here i started and this is my emulator and the first page it is there okay now if i drag up here and opening for cmd and i need to start the server appium iphone p then my server you can able to see here 4724 4724 and i started for my server okay once i start the server i can able to open for uh appium inspector and here any one of them i have already saved here the format and you need to go like uh, plat uh, platform name and Android and platform version 11 because 11 version is I can able to show you here Android virtual device location. This is a 11th version of mine. Okay. That is my version. And uh, this is the emulator name. All the emulator will be the same name. 554. And this is my location where my Android app is presented and this is my UI automator 2 version and this is a session. Okay, just if I start this one, I can able to inspect my uh, I I can able to get by my emulator here for inspecting my elements and I'm going to choose for Chrome driver itself. I'm just I click the Chrome driver and here we can able to see accessibility id and by using this accessibility id i just i can able to click for that particular browser then i can able to verify by using the class name okay i'm not going to take this particular one class name here to clicking for accessibility id i'm going to take okay this all the code i already showed here just i'll copy this particular information come back here And here I can able to copy my Chrome driver accessibility ID. Okay. And then I can able to use for Chrome. Okay. And then I'll click for my Chrome browser. Once I click the Chrome browser, then I can wait some time and then I need to your virtual device and once I click here I need to get the text of this particular search or type of web address okay for this inspect elements and just you can click for this particular to refresh that which is the page we open emulator right same one we can able to get it now here you can see after clicking we can able to get the all uh, elementor that is called uh, ID class name and elements again the class name which is a class name is top it is provide the same name okay text also search our type of web address okay whether it will be displayed or not we'll see first okay i'm copying my class name and just i'm going to here i just in a single quotation i'll provide here i'll mark it as class name okay and this class name i'm going to get the text now i'll uh, comment this particular one and I can able to show you here text equal to class name dot get text because we need to get the text of that information 
and then we need to say uh, show the logs inside that right text i'm going to show you okay now i just we need to quit this is a open page okay then my emulator will be okay no issues i'll stop this emulator one also server is no problem now i'm opening for my visual studio code editor and here i'm going to before that i'll uh, mark it uh, side by side you can able to see whether it will showed or not okay dragging up now i can run this particular class once i run this one i can able to click for chrome driver first then i'll get for the text of that particular search box in a console we can able to see here in terminal okay it will say it will take some time to fill now the server is going to start okay creating the session stop this session also Which server it is taken? Okay, four seven two three hour server, but still it is not able to pointing. Okay, again one more time I am running. Now it is server is connected. Now we can able to see here is a Chrome driver. It is clicking. Then we can able to see for the text tags well in the. Uh, here now see, it is clicked, and we can get that result as well here you can able to see the result okay search a type of web address okay this is a web address we are able to get it okay now i'm going to minimize and here again i'm taking this text okay and minimize this one little bit and here what i can do right i'll do I'll make the assertion text to have text. If it is text is presented, then you can make it for assert as a true. If the text is not presented, then make it as a fail. Okay, just we added which is the console it is display the name that is the name whether it is presented or not. Just we copied and pasted here. Just added one step. Again, one more time, I'm running this particular one to making for assertion because whether we are validating the proper one or not. Now, one more time, server is clicking. Shit. again it is sometimes the servers it will act sometimes it will uh, two times uh, but most of the time it will work perfectly today my network also very slow in case if you feel this video is going very slow just um, make it for uh, your video speed little bit increase and you can see that now server is running now started it is open and it is getting for text of that particular search now the it got the uh, uh, text and it need to be verifying it is uh, waiting for verifying that uh, whether which we passed and we okay expected this address but still it is showing the proper only but it's maybe not able to compare properly su.text
expected undefined defined right to have a text But I expected one, it is getting perfectly, but which is the result we displayed? Sometimes it will give the properly, but still it will uh, show something. Whenever you're doing operations, right, that app, which is the app you are going to click, that app should not be open in your emulator. If it is open, your script will be fail. Okay. And you have to uh, minimize that app and you need to work for it. You need to close it before working that but it is getting proper properly but uh, when it is comparing the values right it is not able to compare it now it is got passed some weight weight issue due to some weight issue it is not able to compare properly now it is able to compare both the cases getting an element value and which we are expecting value right both the cases it is verifying see now yeah it is verified properly and it is showing the pass the test case is a pass okay this is all about for class how we can able this even we can able to use number of apps we have and each one we can able to click and we can able to see one by one okay this is a way we can able to class is basically directly you can able to paste it here you can paste directly and you can able to use it okay this is all about for class locator thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you